Hi guys, and welcome to Circus Play Subnautica Episode 5. So last episode, we fabricated a bunch of items, prepared some food, prepared some water, got everything going for the journey to the Sunbeam, which is kind of in the same spot as where I wanted to start building our habitat. Um, now, when we were exploring over here initially, uh, I believe two episodes ago now, we noticed a couple of things. We noticed that there's a Leviathan presence over there, and it's very deep. Neither of those uh, make me feel good. There is actually one thing that we can synthesize, I believe, that we have not done. And that was a thermometer, but maybe... Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm not seeing it. I know we have... I thought we had the blueprint for it. Let's check them. Uh, blueprints. Yeah, equipment, thermometer, HUD temperature sensor. That takes a computer chip. Chain of pipes can be used to transport breathable air from a functional pump. Very cool, but not what we need. You know, we might want to take a fire extinguisher. I forget if the... We're going to play the radio message from the sunbeam. Okay, so Life Pod 6 is near Life Pod 4. We know that. Um, Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay, so there's no way that their landing is not going to be botched. Um, we'll take the fire extinguisher. There's our em empty battery. We um, <clears throat> like I couldn't find that last game, so maybe maybe I'm just constantly missing that uh, supply crate. What do we do with an empty battery? Is the question. This guy is charged zero 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 percent zero. Okay. Um. I don't see any way to interact with that right now. Uh, maybe we can make like a charging station. That seems like it'd probably be the uh, sensible thing. Okay. Titanium vein. We, you know, as useful as that is right now, we just we just don't need that. Okay. So let's get. Blue is going to be home base. Okay, let's let's head out here. Now we wanted to head this way for our uh, habitat. I believe we've scanned all this. Um, so maybe where the sunbeam lands is actually an even better start. I don't know. I mean, I've I've never done this so. Have we scanned one of these guys? Like, farting on me? Get out of here. He's like my girlfriend after she eats ice cream. Okay. I'm just kidding. Okay, so we got about 10 minutes to get there. What is this thing? This seems like something we should be able to scan, no? Maybe we already have. I don't, I don't even remember anymore. Okay, so we did have to go past the reef backs. I do remember that. It's in some swampy-ass ocean. So I guess my thinking of leaving uh, this early, because we're we're going to be there 
uh, barring any disaster, we're going to be there uh, probably before the thing lands. Uh, well, first of all, I want to see it. I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, I assume something is going to happen. Uh, I want to get a feel for the terrain. And um, I'd also like to maybe figure out if there's any place that we want to build over there. Titanium, okay. Actually, maybe we want to grab this in case we want to build something. We don't have the, um, the like, central chamber for a uh, habitat, which is why we haven't been able to start one. So I'm assuming we're probably going to be given that here, or that's on the Aurora, because that seems pretty essential. Uh... Oh my god, we found the island. I was talking about this the whole episode. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify it. Oh, the other interesting thing we did find, I believe last episode, episode before that, was um what the hell was that? A biter. That seems piranha esque, if I had to guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're getting out of the water. We are getting out of that water. Um, what is this? Halo? We, um... Oh, I set my, uh, some different settings in NVIDIA, and the game is running way better. Uh, anyway. We were looking for the island, I believe, two episodes ago, and we couldn't find it. So, here we are. Uh, yeah, we're definitely playing Halo. Or Metroid Prime, I don't really know at this point. Bulbo Tree. Sounds like Legend of Zelda. Insert Tablet. You do not have a tablet to insert, I am sorry. I forgot my iPad uh, on the Aurora. I hope you understand. Okay, so I guess we're not getting in that way. Purple tablet. Now, if I had to guess, this tablet uh, that we are going to look at, apparently, goes into that uh, door to open the energy field to uh, where the Covenant reside. I mean, it, it, it's, it seems like there should be a door over here, but maybe there's not. I'm guessing that there is not. We are lanky. You know, for a swimmer, we got some small quads. We gotta hit the squat rack. Okay. Um, I'm guessing we can take fall damage. We don't seem to take fall damage onto, into the ocean, but... So there's more to this island. Interesting. Interesting. There was also... I, I've completely lost my train of thought since we've been looking at this thing. So we found a ventilation shaft. Uh, either episode before last or last episode. Did we just get stuck? Anywho, we found that ventilation shaft, which was interesting. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. All right, Cortana. Now, if this was any other game, I would assume uh, something bad was going to happen. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Let's 
Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It was likely a solid-state computer, although there was no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were consider considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment, further research required. Okay, sorry about the notification, but thank you. Uh, I apparently forgot to turn those off. Okay, so down here, pick up Ion Cube. Uh, sure. Bro, I don't know if I would just touch this alien stuff. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Uh, Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Okay, so... Ion Cube. High capacity alien energy source. Oh, we can just eat the tree sample? Well, okay, so that... That's something that we can plant. That is eventual eventual agriculture. This fish is decaying rapidly, so let's eat it. Vital signs stabilizing. Get that out of my inventory, bro. Okay, so we're going to go down here. Um, but what I want to do more than anything is watch the sunbeam arrive. Um yeah, it's only 123 meters that way. And it looks like there's a place on the hill that we can kind of climb up a little bit. So let's do that. Well, I suppose if we go up the hill, we might not be able to see it. Something's happening, though. But... Is this a gun? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Bruh, I got bad news. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Wait, wait, wait. This thing might hit us. It's That's not good. The building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Uh, and that is the start of Independence Day. Well, it seems like something crashed and burned over here. Maybe not. Get away from me. Uh, I, um, 
I don't know what to say. I mean, I knew something bad was going to happen. I, I truly didn't expect that. Uh, so that's the Aurora. So... Okie dokie. Lithium. Man, this really is a Nirvana song. May want a flashlight. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Great. Oh, wow. Um, I was going to say a very bad word, uh, but I stopped myself. Um, what the hell? So what the hell is going on? I don't like any of this. I don't like this bird thing. I don't like the fact that that ship got shot down. I mean, I knew, put it this way, I knew that ship wasn't going to save us, okay? This isn't my first rodeo. But I didn't think it'd be like that. I mean, just we just witnessed a lot of people die. I mean, that was a pretty big ship. Assuming that was roughly the size of the Aurora, I mean... Lead. Hmm. Lithium, huh? Interesting. Mm, okay. Oh god, we're right by the cliff. Listen, I'm scanning. Oh, it's not a cliff. I am scanning these plants. Excuse me. Okay, whatever. Thanks, guys. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Lithium. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. The bubble tree, we're eating it. My man just ate a tree. My man's about to be really thirsty, apparently, because I can't Handle his inventory. I thought something came out of that rock. I guess not. There are a ton of them, though. Holy hell. Diamond. We do need diamonds for laser cutters. So... I don't know how much lithium we need, but it seems to be relatively common. Uh, the diamonds, though, if we can find another diamond, we will definitely take it. Did that just fall into the cliff? Diamond, okay. Oh my god, we are getting so much bling. Uh, we'll drop some salt. Lots of lithium. You know, I didn't think of this when I came in here, but this cave network might be huge. 
Although it's light in here, so that means that we're close to daylight. Oh god, okay. Alright, well, you know, let's start by following these lights, shall we? Oh, hello. Come on, man. This isn't... <laughs> this, uh... These aren't questions that I want right now. I'm just kind of speechless, I guess. Speckled Rattler. Um, we actually need to get back to the ocean, honestly. Uh, we are... We, we need water, so we need uh, bladder fish. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. How do we take a photo? Uh, hang on. Let me look at my keyboard. F11. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. We can't scan this. No one has any questions about this weird glowing tree. I've got a lot of questions, okay? Like... Like, just a lot of questions about a lot of things. Like, are we... Like, what is that portal? Are we in, like, a different dimension? Because this stuff is here, so... We don't seem to be any further from it. Um... <clears throat> I, I guess if I was, we can't scan that. Uh, I guess if I was this individual on this alien world, uh, in this alien planet, I, I guess my question would be, um, how big is this island? So, I think what we need to do, and we're going to end the episode in a second, I think what we need to do is kind of get... Uh, an idea of the size of this island and what that portal is. But, alright guys, thanks for joining me. That was episode 5, and uh, I hope you're enjoying it. But feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.